Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tara Brabazon and it's my great pleasure to introduce Professor Steve Redhead. And today for this vodcast, I wanted to talk about Steve's new book. Now Steve, the book is about to appear in three weeks, so that's June 2015 for people that would like the date of that. And this book is titled Football and Accelerated Culture, This Modern Sporting Life. So Steve, let's explore that title, and it's a great title. Let's explore that title a little bit. So why accelerated culture? Yes, it's an interesting story that uh, emerged when Routledge, who are publishing the book, I'm very pleased to be in their Routledge Research and Sport Culture and Society series. Yeah. Really good series. And basically what happened was that I called the book something else, which was, this sporting life is going to be the death of me. And in fact, that phrase comes from a relevant author in the book, David Storey, who wrote uh, This Sporting Life as a novel in 1960. Great uh, new wave realist black and white film was made out of it three years later. And Storey was actually going home to Wakefield on a train and he heard somebody say, this sporting life is going to be the death of me. And I thought the actual long phrase was really interesting. It captured everything in the book. And of course, This Sporting Life which is the short version that story used. Mm. Anyway, when Routledge saw this very long version, <laughs> uh, they thought, oh, well, when people put uh, things into Google these days, you know, uh, searching for books, that's not really uh, the thing. And what they suggested was a very good idea, which is football and accelerated culture, and yes. they actually suggested the subtitle This Modern Sporting Life, which Brilliant. again fits beautifully. Brilliant. But the book is basically about my concepts and theories developed around what I call claustropolitan sociology and, in fact, bunker anthropology. And I've been doing that work for a decade, really. I wrote a book called Paul Virilio, Theories for an Accelerated Culture in 2004. And that's really when I started theorising what I now say is accelerated culture. And I think its time has come. It fitted the millennium, but actually it really fits now. An accelerated culture plus concepts like um, claustropolitanism, which is a, a way of talking about the post-crash cultural condition that I think we're in, and a number of other th theories and concepts like non-postmodernity, which I used in the book uh, The Jean Baudrillard Reader, which came out in 2008. And it's an amalgam of concepts and theories that I think fit today's post-crash cultural condition really well. And this book is actually an application of those theories and concepts to the global football culture. And I've done a lot of, in, um, sort of empirical research into the global football culture probably over the last 10, 20 years. And a lot of that is in that book. But it's also an application of theories and concepts which I think are cutting edge, that they push football studies, physical cultural studies, in a completely different direction. And I hope I've pulled that off. Well, I think you have, Stephen. One of the great potentials, one of the great skills, I think, in writing books, and this is your 17th book? 16th. 16th book, I'm being prescient. One of the remarkable things about books is the great books operate at the absolute edge of your intellectual ability, so the edge of disciplines, the edge of what you can do, and Steve, there's no doubt, I think, this book is doing that. So, best of luck with it. Thank you.